Hi, I'm here with comedian Ron Placone and Steph Samarano and Yeah, and sweet. there it is. I'm also worried but for the for the so the Democratic Party it, it looks too broken to fix. I, I guess we can't get rid of it. They're gonna be around, they ain't leaving. I, I don't know, I, I, I definitely can't I, I can't put my you know, it's like uh, the Cubs finally won this year. Uh and it took about a thousand years. So I think that's what's going to happen with the Democrats. And uh, I ain't going through that. Uh, I don't know how many more elections they have to lose to wake them up that there's no point in having a Democratic Party if you're in bed with the fucking Wall Street. There's no point. What is the point? We have two, two, we have two parties of war. We have two parties of Wall Street. We have two parties of Silicon Valley. We have two parties of a police state. We have two parties for the for a surveillance state. We have two. What what are, what is the point of the? What are the Democrats oppose? We had Barack Obama propo proposing to cut Medicare and Social Security, and the Republicans had to say no. That's how fucking fucked up the Democrats are. So everybody keeps saying, well, we got, you know, now Bernie Sanders is going to infuse the Democratic Party. And uh, he did. He went right back to the Senate and he voted to elect Chuck Schumer. Oh. But he did endorse Keith Ellison, right? Because if you remember, Keith Ellison, he's the big progressive because Keith Ellison showed that he had courage because he backed Bernie Sanders when no one else would. Remember that all the establishment Democrats, every state Bernie went into, he had none of those establishment Democrats on his side. Every state he went into, the, all, the whole Democratic Party was against him and working against him. So keep that in mind. But everybody said, oh, Keith Ellison's great. He's great. He's great. I pointed out to you where his foreign policy isn't so fantastic. And, and people got mad at me for doing that. And then I pointed out some other things people got mad. But I was like, okay, I'll go with Keith Ellison. <laughs> I'll go. I'll take. I'll say, all right. I'll go with Keith Ellison. But then they elected Nick. Nick you know, they got Nick. Nancy Pelosi in the, in the House who says there's no change coming for Democrats. I don't know. I really don't know what Bernie Sanders thinks he's doing. Uh, my opinion, super big miscalculation by backing the thing that you were running against. The whole point for your candidacy was that the Democrats are too corrupt and we need to fix it. And then as soon as you didn't win the primary, you're like, fuck it. Ah, let's do it. And here we are. And here we are. And and so you got behind a loser on purpose who lost. And Keith Ellison is going to be the savior of the Democratic Party. Everybody's saying he got to say work within the system. We got to change the Democratic Party. And he tweeted this out today. It's an article from January of 2016, and for some reason he decided to tweet this out today. Today being December 22nd. He says, if you're a liberal, you think Clinton is corrupt, you're rewarding 25 years of GOP smears. So, this made me, you know, it makes me want to swear, you know, at the top of my lungs and scream and at someone and throw something. But what I think I'm going to do is join the Democratic Socialist Party. I think that's what this does. And that's who I'll be pushing probably. I, I, I can't, I can't do this shit. I can't do this. Their leaders are corporatists, right? Bernie Sanders is behind Chuck Schumer, who's a Wall Street whore. And he's behind Nancy Pelosi. And now this? So in Miami-Dade County, there's an, there's an election happening uh, to elect the leader of the Democratic Party there. Bernie Sanders is backing the progressive candidate, Keith Ellison backing the billionaire. And I'm like, why is he doing that? Why wouldn't he back who Bernie? Why isn't he back in the progressive? And then somebody said to me that, oh, but the billionaire he's backing is, is Jewish. And so he's getting heat right now from the Anti-Defamation League. So he's going to try and look, I'm back. Well, first, you already backed Bernie Sanders, who's a Jew. You already backed a Jewish guy in the presidential primary. <laughs> Didn't That's not enough. So that was I, if that's why he's doing it, that's a bad idea. I don't know why he's doing it. But I just know he's doing it. Um, and now he's doing this. And so, again, I, I see that. It makes my stomach turn. Honest to God, no kidding. Like, ugh. like our country's so fucked and these goddamn assholes who are in power are such bought pieces of nothing. 
what is he doing? So I, so the only thing I could just think is like, okay, he's doing this because he's running for the DNC chair and he's trying to reach out to the Hillary people. So he needs to get the, he wants the Hillary people to calm down. They ain't calming down, Keith. What are you, out of your mind? They haven't changed one goddamn bit. They just elected Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. What do you think is going on in the Democratic Party? And so that's the only thing I can think of. Because he's even, Keith Ellison is not this dumb. I mean, he's dumb enough to do this. But he's hoping the Clinton people are dumb enough to believe it. That's the only thing I can think of. There's no way he really, but just the fact that he's willing to play this game. Like, yeah, we can't be progressives. We have to always paint ourselves as moderates or center right because we can never be a progressive. You can't, God damn it. I'm so honest to God, I'm, I, I don't know about, I'm done with them. I think I'm going to be done with the Democrats. Ron, how are you? Well, here's why I think he did it. And, and it's kind of like similar, but a little bit. I think what he's trying to do now is he's trying to get you know the left or, or you know the Democrats and, and just anybody that that's not Republican basically to kind of walk in step and walk in unison, which I totally understand that. However, I think doing stuff like this is going about it the exact wrong way because if you don't learn and people are like, oh, the wound's so fresh. Why do you got to get on Clinton? Why do you got to get on what the Democratic Party did wrong? Well, because if you don't point out those mistakes, they will be repeated. And without a serious real populist message because a bunch of people bought into Trump because he sold them a snake oil populist yes. message. If you have a real populist message like Bernie Sanders had, that's how you're going to win again. So to not learn from Clinton mistakes or to try to tie it up and put a bow on it and try to tie it up and put a bow how the Democrats completely fucked their ground game this election season – to like, like, just ignore that or pretend like it wasn't an issue or pretend like, well, we won the popular vote. Well, we did this. Well, we did that. Like, people don't want change, says Nancy Pelosi. That's the exact wrong way yes. to get people to walk in unison. So I think that's what he's trying to do by sending out articles like this. But th that is the totally wrong way to do it. And, and he's just trying to... Uh, it just reminds me of it just reminds me of Barack Obama not prosecuting torture people. Barack Obama not holding people accountable in Wall Street. Barack Obama not doing anything. That's what this reminds me of. It's like, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll over. I'll roll over. I got my mind right. I got my mind right. Hillary's not corrupt. I got it. Yeah. Wall Street's fine. Giving speeches. That's fine. It's all good. I got it. I got it. It's all good. Yeah, Libya, Iraq, Honduras. It doesn't matter. It's all fucking good. It's all fine. Everything's good. I got my mind right. I want to be DNC chair. Isn't that what that is? Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's that, and I think it's like this is how he, he's going to get uh, unity because it's like, okay, for the Clinton folks, I'm with you. And, you know, for the other folks, well, of course you don't like GOP smears, and, and you don't like what, you know, of course nobody does, but – this is the wrong way to get the party to walk in line. You have to say, time to learn from our mistakes so that we win in 2018. Yeah, let's not That's make That's what same. you got to do. And, and if, if people are too sensitive to hear that, tough shit because lose. the rest of us are tired of losing. I mean, are they going to tell us? At, are they going to say, hey, you know what? We're going to give Hillary another chance in four years? Is that what they're going to get ready to do? So, by the way, Jimmy, you were saying that you're interested in the Democratic Socialists, and I just want to let you know that one of their little mantra, their mantra is, we fight for socialism over barbarism. I'm on board for that. I like that. And they say who we are and what we do. Democratic Socialists believe that both the economy and society should be run democratically to meet human needs, not to make profits for a few. Why wouldn't you want that party? That organization? I don't like it. No, no. I think we need a little, some more predatory capitalism, maybe mixed with crony capitalism, mixed with some foreign wars. What do you think? I'm on board. I just don't think that could win. <laughs>